Shockham Starcraft. Hey yo, what's up? This is Shockham Starcraft. What's up guys? I'm going to be doing a tutorial today for my buddy Tyler. And um, reason being, he wants to maybe play Starcraft 2 with us when it comes out. And I want him to know and uh, like what he's doing. So first off, you'll see here that I have really low graphics from this laptop which can't handle StarCraft 2 very well. Everything is on low right now, that's why it doesn't look that good. But this is the Zerg race um, right here. And this is what you start off with as the Zerg. You start with your hatchery, which is your just your main base. And these are your little workers that you automatically start out with this many workers. They'll start in a line. Um, and what you do in the very beginning, the, the goal is just left click when you left click you can you can get a little box going here it's a selection box and you select whatever's under it you can select the buildings just left click the building or you can just click one worker at a time these are the larva which you build uh, different units with for a zerg but um the left click is the selection box and uh, when you right click with those units it moves them so you select them with the left click you can drag the box over them and you can click and have them go wherever you would like them to go. In this case, they're workers, so we want them, they're drones specifically, Zergs have drones. And we want them gathering minerals. Um, this is Vespian Gas, which is another type of resource that you'd use in StarCraft 2. You can see up here, um, I have quite a bit of minerals. These guys have been mining for a while, approximately 7 minutes and 50 seconds. And um, this little time box is not in normal StarCraft. This is just kind of an uh, use map settings just to study your builds and just to work on StarCraft and your skill or whatever. But anyways, <clears throat> your minerals are up top here, the little blue box. And you have to harvest the minerals from these little mineral fields here. And it is a limited amount. So this only has 1,060 minerals remaining on that patch. And um, similarly, they have the, around the same amount. But what you want to do to um, build units in other buildings is you need these minerals. In some cases, for the more advanced units and more advanced buildings, you need this Vespian gas. But you can't just click a drone like this, and you're going to select it with the left click, remember, and right click to uh, send it where you want. You can't just click them and right click on the, that, just like you do here. Right click for an action, start getting minerals. You right click on the gas, must build extractor first. So when you go into here um, for the build B, basic mutations, this is how you build it with the Zerg. Um, any race you build, it's the first initial um, structures, which is the basic structures, will be here. And then there's advanced structures, will, which will be here. Most of the time, the basic structures will require um, more of minerals, and the and more advanced structures will require Vespian gas. And what you want to do is go to the basic structures and build an extractor on it. And if you notice, I'm going to cancel this. This looks pretty sweet, even on low graphics. But if you notice, you get your drone back. But if you go back up, you'll see that it says 25 minerals and then also 30. There's a 30 with a clock next to it. 30 means how long it takes to build that extractor. How long it's going to be until you're going to have that. So 30 seconds from now, we will have an extractor. And the little blue bar will be the progress bar of that extractor. And also, if you click on any other building, you'll see down here in the green, that's the health of the building, 1,250 hit points. Um, that's how many points the building uh, for health has. Um, and when enemy units attack it, uh, obviously it goes down. And so we got our extractor now. Now we have the ability to grab our drone. And even if he has a mineral uh, in his claws or his mouth or whatever, he can just you know drop that off. And so you take another one. And you can just right click on the extractor and now you can start getting gas. And w what you want to do generally, uh, you might just want to try to remember this or whatnot. You're going to want three workers or three drones. It doesn't matter what race it is. Once you build the building they need for the gas, you're going to want three of them um, eating the gas <laughs> or collecting the gas. So you see how there's a constant line coming out and in. Um, three is just a perfect amount. You'll see that I'm not building any units. I'm just showing you the basics here. So, essentially in StarCraft, the basics are you need to get minerals, you need to get gas. You just need to collect these resources to build your base, to build your little empire 
Um, and there's three races you can do that with, Zerg, Terran, and Protoss. And we're looking at Zerg right now, and you'll see that Zerg, if you take any one of the drones, they're kind of the like alien like bug race. You take them, and this is called Creep, this br black brownish stuff, that um, you'll see that is going to be growing with buildings um, placed on it. So let's, for example here, let's go here, and let's go to Build right here, the basic uh, buildings. If we go to Build Spawning Pool, and it'll tell you what it enables, um, it describes each building underneath built over Vespian ga geyser to allow harvesting of Vespian gas. And here for spawning pool, um, enables queens from hatchery, lair, or hive. Lair and hive are what the this can upgrade to. Um, but anyways, the it also zerglings from larva, so you can build you can build uh, attacking units zerglings, and spine crawlers from drones. You don't have to worry about them quite yet. That's just the things that that building will enable. So say you go to build a spawning pool, and you want to build it here, and you're like, oh, maybe I won't build it here. Maybe I'll build it over here. I want to build it in the grass over here. You can't. As Zerg, you can't place buildings anywhere but on the creep. This is called creep, remember. And what the creep does, it allows your units to move faster when they're on the creep. And you'll see that the spawning pool will be um, growing <laughs> as the Zerg does to create units. And when you select this main uh, building, no matter what race you have, you're going to be able to build the units from here. With Zerg, you have to select the larva. So if you click here, you can select all three larva. And you can build more drones. And you can do it by just clicking it multiple times, three times. And now multiple drones will be coming out. The best part about this is if you click on your building and you just right click on a mineral patch, whatever's produced from this building, whatever drone is produced, will go and eat minerals. That's uh it's really good because if you're not paying attention, they'll just go straight there. So if we want to continue building drones, we just keep clicking the drones and they're gonna be built from here and they're gonna be harvesting the minerals because that's where I have it clicking to go. We're getting we're also gathering gas, we have a spawning pool. So see this this guy right here this little guy um, this larva you can select it by doing this or go here and select it here say I want to build another drone you can see that I can build a zergling now that I built this building it allows me to build the zergling but for if I want to build more drones it says I can't on the left you'll see too many underlings create more overlords um, the reason this is if you look in the top right it says 10 out of 10 that means you have 10 units um, on the map at this point so I have 10 drones sitting here and I have only 10 that I can build at the moment in order to increase the supply or increase the food as some people like to call it because you say you have food for 10 drones so it says 10 um, but you wanna you want more food for for your units so that they can survive or else you can't build them so let's go here and let's build an overlord